Hey everybody, Dan Lobby with Lance Rise. We're going to do a little film breakdown here. Lance picked out two plays that show examples of the Browns getting beat in man coverage. The first one, uh, Lance is going to show you how A.J. Brown beat Martin Emerson, how Jalen Hurts uh, kept Rodney McLeod out of the play, and also a unique thing that the Eagles did on their front to help protect Hurts. All right, let's take a look how the Eagles exploited cover one man coverage from the Browns this past Sunday. We're going to go over both of their touchdowns. So the first touchdown here, this first of all, we got a third and seven on the Browns 22 yard line. So what you're going to get is a cover one. You're going to get McLeod who's deep. He's shading. This is Brown. Okay. You got Ward here on one strong. You got Newsom on two strong. You got JOK who's going to blitz. Okay. And then you got Mitchell who's on two weak, which is the tight end. And then you got Emerson on Brown here. Now, the, one of the keys before you move on here is Brown being inside is going to allow him a ton of space here on the outside. So McLeod's got to be a guy who helps. Emerson's got to make him release inside to his help. He doesn't do that. So it's a play starts. You're going to see the routes here. So over here, this is the ba this is his backside read if he needs it. So on the snap of the – as the ball is, you know, before the snap, this tight end is going to motion out. And as he motions out, Mitchell's going to follow. That tells Hurts – this is man coverage, and this is what he wants. Not only does he have what he wants, but he has a bunch of area over here to throw it. So Emerson, again, has got to get him to release inside to his help, which is McLeod. And McLeod's even shading over here. So one of the things that you people have said to me is, how come McLeod's not over top here? And the reason why is because McLeod is kept in the pocket by Hertz's eyes. So you can see Calcaterra, the tight end, is running a hitch route. And now you can see Emerson's beat. And Hertz knows he's Emerson's going to struggle with Brown. He's got to keep McLeod. So how does he do that? Well, there's two things that happened that really impressed me with the Eagles. One is Hertz is standing in the pocket with JOK bearing down on him. Okay. Next, you have McLeod. So he, once again, he knows he's got man covered with the motion from the tight end. So he's going to stare at McLeod and keep him on this hash. And by keeping him on the hash, he's got all kinds of area out to the sideline to throw the ball to Brown. Another cool thing here real quick is that they double Garrett and they treat JOK as a six man. So really in intricate attention to detail, detail stuff from the Eagles. And finally, you get the contested catch from Brown over Emerson. Emerson actually has really, you know, solid coverage. Brown's is too tough. And you can see McLeod's late getting over. All right, now let's take a look at another play where Jalen Hurts recognizes using 12 personnel pre-snap what the Browns are in, that they are in man coverage, and how he's able to take advantage of it. All right, let's take a look at the second touchdown, kind of ended the game for the Browns. It's first and 10, ball's on the 45, they're going to throw a crossing route, or what we call mesh. So again, Hertz comes up to the line of scrimmage, they're going to be in 12, Eagles are going to be in 12 personnel with two tight ends. All right, now, the interesting part about this, what, which tells you that Hertz is on the same page as the offense coordinator, is that you get a man coverage, and here's how he knows. Corners matched up with one week. You got Newsom on two week, which is Devontae Smith, right? You got the running back. If he goes this way, it's weak. If he goes this way, it's strong. Then you got the 12 personnel. You got two tight ends over here. Now, the Browns, because it's first and 10, they counter with five defensive linemen. So with five defensive linemen and the safety here, that tells Hertz it's one Yale or one cover one. What we called one Yale. Why? Five down linemen. Six safety tells you you got five to cover five. And that's how fast these quarterbacks think of that. So right now he knows he's got cover one. He's got man coverage, what he wants. So they're going to run a little mesh concept. And I want you to watch this one strong tight end, Stahl and Smith. And they're going to cross each other. And the only way that Newsom can cover this, if he stays close to Smith so he doesn't get picked off. So as the play goes, you see the routes. You see Stahl come here. And you're going to see Smith come underneath. The rest of these routes are in, unimportant here because Hurts knows where he's going with the ball. So, again, cover man. If you're in man coverage, you better have pressure. And, again, Hurts has a clean pocket. So you can see Bell. He's on stall. Stall right here. If you look closely, stall is looking for Newsom right now. And why? He's going to rub or pick Newsom. He's going to run right at him. So Newsom, too much space here. The only way Newsom can beat this, if he's really close, we used to say staying on the hip. If he's not on the hip, he's going to get picked, and you're going to see it coming up here. So as Stahl's crossing, you can see Newsom is going to stop his feet. He literally has to stop his feet and avoid Stahl as he comes across, and Stahl is actually picking him. If you see if Newsom is here, right, he has a chance to run with Smith, but he doesn't. 
he gets picked, and you can see Newsom gets trailed because of the route, and there's no one left. And obviously, this is an easy catch and throw. Great protection from the line. Little under route. Smith catches it and takes it 45 yards. But that was that's because the five down lineman Hertz knew it was cover one. Smith knew he was going to get man coverage. He knew exactly where he was going to go with that ball. Stall made the made the pick. This ended up being a 45 yard touchdown. The Browns cover a lot in man. They have to improve uh, their pass uh, pass rush. They have to make sure they're not man all the time. Again, just like everything in football, it's a team game, and man coverage is no different. They got to get better as a team if they're going to be in this much man.